Hello guys, this is me again. We're going to discuss our lesson and that is about using Prezi. So the first thing that we will do is to go to the Google Chrome. By the way, I use my cell phone so that we have the same window in your uh, using your cell phone because I know that most of you have cell phone than using their or have their own laptop so i decided to use a cell phone for this lesson five for us to be able to follow the procedure on how to do the PIF lesson in our module now first thing to do is to go to the google chrome this is the google chrome you open this one and then you type on the URL address the uh, site of Prezi. You just type here Prezi.com. Then press enter or just click your go button using your touch screen. Now this is the home page of a Prezi. You're going to, to choose here what uh, kind of user you are. Of course, you are a student, so you're going to click this button. And then you're going to create your account. But if you have your own account, then no need to sign up. So, I will demonstrate here how to sign up. So, first is your first name and then followed by your second name your last name and then your email address and then followed by your password so I'll just type my password and then you just click on this checkbox I'm not a robot and then follow the procedure select all squares with crosswalks so you're going to select all the squares with crosswalks after selecting you click this next command and then another, you're going to select uh, all square with bicycle. So you just follow on the direction. So let us see if there are squares having a bicycle. I can't see any bicycle here. Okay, I could just skip. And continue. Just click on the con uh, you just check on this check box first below the the I am not a robot description then just click on the continue command then just wait for the loading and then just uh, choose this one I have it already that's why I'll just cho choose the Prezi icon and then just click on a students and educator then after that we're going to choose this one just scroll down then choose the basic one and then just click on continue you will just get the free uh, platform for this and then it will pop out the message congratulations so you're on your way to creating amazing visual content with Prezi so just click on the get started just wait again for the loading of this site then hello it this site will welcome you and of course you are going to choose another uh, uh, options here if you're a best if if you're 
presentation is for a business purpose, for a student, for education, or for other. So we're going to use this one, student purpose. So let's read again. And then, great. Would you like to begin? Of course. So we're going to design with Prezi. So just click on this one. Design with Prezi. So our objective is to create an online presentation using Prezi. So for us to be able to have a different kind of online presentation, you may choose your own desired uh, topic. Okay, so it's up to you what topic would you like to present. And then after that, this will be the next uh, screen that will uh, pop out. And you are going to choose a slide. So just choose any kind of template. So it depends on your presentation. So if your presentation is to make a infogra an infographic, then you will click on this, Untitled Infographics, if you want. But if you want to make a presentation, of course, you just click on this slide, slide tab. So these are the tabs under this categories. Infographics, reports, slides dashboards, charts, maps, posters, social media posts, email headers, and the YouTube thumbnails. So we're going to use just okay, so let us now continue. We're going to make an online presentation. Just click on this tab. And then my suggestion is you are just uh, going to select your desired template on this uh, given templates here because the best thing that have this Prezi is there are plenty of beautiful designs already so all you need to do is just to select your desired templates so let me use this one the presentation for my demonstration so it's up to you what uh, would you like to to use so I'm going to just scroll down scroll up to select so let me select first Just give me enough time to select so let us see a beautiful presentation but of course you can choose your own so I'm expecting that you will not copy the same way that I do this is just a presentation for example um, I would like to select this one mixed berry report this one so it depends on what kind of a presentation would you like, what template. Right now, after selecting that, it will pop out here the text box that where you can enter your project title. So for example, my project title is, because I select here about a report, of an organization so maybe I could check um, another one for this press this one I want this press Christmas presentation so you should select a template that could base on the on the content of your slides so my content is about Christmas so because one month ago already Christmas. I want to make a presentation for Christmas. So use this template, then just click on that command, and then it will um, 
pop out the text box for entering or for typing your project title. So of course, my project title is about Christmas. Christmas. For now, I need to say goodbye and watch out for my next presentation about Prezi. Of course, that is how this uh, free template can be made even better. Good luck guys! Have a nice day!